in the next set of videos within this Python basics uh, playlist, we're going to discuss the nature of sequences in Python. And there are several data types that align themselves within the sequence umbrella. Strings and lists are uh, two examples, and we'll look at more in subsequent videos. So we see we have here we have a string, and we have a list with numbers one through five. Now we'll talk a lot about lists versus arrays in our course. What I'd like to say right now is a list is not an array. There is a different data structure, an array data structure in Python that we will visit in a few weeks. But what we can say for now with both the string and this list is that they are a series of values, H-E-L-L-O, or one, two, three, four, five, that are ordered. Right, so the way we've input them left to right is the order, and of course they inherit a numeric index, right? So because they're sequences, we can refer to a single element using its index. Let's say we want to get the first element in my string, and of course we can do the same thing with my list. Okay. The other nice thing in Python is it supports new uh, negative indexing as well that works backwards from the end. So if I wanted to access the last element, for example, in the list, we can use the negative one to get the first, or so the last element uh, in this uh, sequence. Okay, the same would hold true for strings. What's also true of sequence types is because they're ordered, we can also use what's called slicing, which gives us more capabilities beyond just accessing one element at a time through its numeric index. We can have a start point and an end point as well as a step. So slicing would look like this. Say I wanted to get at the first few characters of my string. I would refer to my string, open up the square bracket indentation and say start at position zero, and go to the second element, 0, 1, 2. So 0, 1, 2. Now it doesn't include this upper range, so we should expect HE to come out in the output. And there we, we see that. So this is an example of slicing. Start at this point, stop at this point. And we can have a step factor as well. So if we wanted to slice, every other element, you know, we could refer to my string and say start at the, the uh, first element, zero, and let's say go to the fourth one, and then we'll go, go every other. So step two, so we'll go zero, two, four, okay? And here we see we get H and L, so zero, two, and it would stop at four, four being the upper range, so it wouldn't take the O in this case. Okay, so whether we have a string or a list, we can get single elements through indexing, get multiple elements through slicing. The other thing that a number of sequences support is this idea of repetition. And a rather interesting thing we can do here is uh, if I was to take my string, which oddly enough is a string, we can do multiplication on it. It just repeats the pattern for time, concatenating each one on to the latter one. And we can see that we can do that here with my list as well, concatenating four versions of it into one new list. Another interesting thing that sequences can do. Now, last but not least, we'll talk about the fact that sequences are iterable. And what we learned in JavaScript is if it's iterable, in JavaScript, we could do the for of loop, right? The loop without a counter. Well, the same thing exists here in Python, but we have to watch that uh, operator. It's for in. It's a for in loop in Python. So if I take the list for uh, m in my list, colon, okay, we have a code block here, then I'll print m, which will be one element in the list at a time, and there we see our iteration happen. And of course, we could do the same thing for the string. Let me just back up here. 
and we'll look at my string and we'll print M, this time getting our characters. Okay, so these are some of the basic things that we know to be true and common about our sequence types. What we're going to talk about in the next video is a very interesting sequence type in Python called range. And range is a nice way to create iteration and in a sense have a counter as well. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.